Good morning you guys, it's Jennifer here and today I will be bringing you through what I eat in a day. I'll be showing you my breakfast, my lunch, so my whole eating cycle. The snacks that I have in between and this is just um, a basic day. Eating at home, training at my home gym kind of day, which is a lot easier because you're not going around and you know, eating out at other places. Without further ado, let's get on with the first meal which is breakfast. For today's breakfast, what I will be choosing to eat is waffles because I have the biggest sweet tooth when it comes to the morning. Like, I crave sweets. If there will be chocolate on the table, I will start my day with that, and that's not good. So, what I like to eat is these Kodiak Cakes Power Protein Waffles. They are delicious and are full of a lot of good things. Since they are 100% whole grain wheat, Wheat protein it has sugar, but a very small amount of it, only three grams of sugar, and it's brown sugar. It has everything that you want in the morning. The protein, and it's whole grain, no enriched wheat bleach, no enriched white bleach flour, which most grand cake mixes have. I only mix it with water, which makes it so easy. I will be using my waffle maker, which is the most amazing thing ever. Like, if it wasn't for this thing, these waffles wouldn't exist. But you could make them a pancake form, but waffles are just that much funner to eat. Am I right or am I right? when you first mix it. If you wait about five minutes, it'll become a thicker consistency. While the waffle maker is heating up, I like to make myself coffee because I cannot function my morning without coffee. I actually do not drink pre-workout. I stopped drinking pre-workout a while back because it started having a bad effect on my stomach. So instead, I switched over to coffee. Now that I have my coffee ready and I'm waiting for my waffle maker to heat up, I like to drink two cups of water with lemon to get my day started. We get dehydrated when we're sleeping and our body needs water ASAP as soon as we wake up. Now that our penny waffle maker is all heated up, while we are waiting for the waffles to finish, I will tell you guys what is my eating routine i actually do intermittent fasting basically it is an eating window where you fast for a specific amount of hours because i start eating at noon or at one o'clock as well as eating too early in the morning actually causes my stomach to hurt and my since my digestive system is very sensitive to a lot of things i like to eat around this time which is perfect and the last meal of the day is around eight o'clock Another thing that I usually like to incorporate with my morning breakfast is this amazing grass green superfood. Let me tell y'all, the bathroom will become your best friend <laughs> once you start using this thing. It has a lot, a lot of fiber. It has all the greens that you probably ever want and berries, green teas. Basically, it's really good for your stomach. And in general, if you don't consume a lot of greens in the day, this helps a lot. They have they have these in various flavors. They have them in berry, just a plain green, and they have like a lemon lime. I like to get the chocolate one because it just kills that grassy flavor. It's not sweet. It's a very bitter chocolate. So I do recommend if you do get this or any green powder form, get the chocolate one. It's 
actually not that bad as it looks. It looks horrible, but it's actually very, very not bad. <laughs> now that the waffles are ready, it's time to, for the toppings, which is the best part and what makes the waffles phenomenal because I am a chef. No, really, I'm not. Okay. I either like to put this one or this one on my waffles. After I put on my spreads, I like to put on these vegan Karob chips. It is a healthy alternative to chocolate chips since they are made out of Karob powder, which is a grain that is finely milled. I personally prefer it over the flavor of chocolate chips. It just has this good burnt flavor. If you my favorite part of old time is putting on fruits and berries. I have red currant, black currant, blueberries, bananas, and raspberries. I usually put on my waffles whatever I have in the fridge at the moment. Like if I just have bananas and strawberries, I'll put bananas and strawberries. But since we have tons of berries right now in the house, I like to just add everything on and make it as tarty and berry full as possible. <laughs> Now, if I'm really craving something extra sweet this morning, I like, this is not always, but I like to put about one tablespoon of Cool Whip on my waffles since it has like that creamy consistency, which is. Just... Voila, this is my morning breakfast. What did you eat today? Huh? You gotta tell my viewers what, what you ate today. He's like, leave me alone, human. Mwah! Drink tons of water in between all your meals because it'll help you feel, feel fuller. And not just that, but it's just gonna hydrate you and make you feel amazing. So I tried to drink at least like four bottles of my 24 ounce. Believe it or not, I used to have the worst skin. So it's not at its optimal best of where I want it to be, but it improved so much from where it used to be. It was just horrible. Like I had breakouts all over my side cheeks, like breakouts over here that were extremely visible. I just I had major skin issues. If you guys want me to do a skincare routine and what foods helped me to clear it up then comment down below and give this video a like I used to count my macros and calories and the reason why I stopped is because just working and you know trying to keep up with college you don't really have the time to meal plan and count all your calories what I did is I kind of eyed of what I used to eat and now it's just eating more clean food so I just started buying a lot more whole products fruit fruits veggies trying to maintain my um, portion sizes not to eat as much like the waffles I had this morning that I won't eat until like a good three and a half hours or four hours later and I'll have like a little snack and then I'll have like a bigger meal. So I eat, I try to incorporate healthy things into all my meals like veggies, fruits, and just drinking a lot of water in between and it helps me stay full and you're going to be constantly filling up your fridge with healthy foods and berries, veggies, you know, just healthy alternatives because of you doing that you won't really have to eat bad foods because you just don't have the bad foods in your kitchen. I do recommend for you guys to just try when you go grocery shopping, stay away from all the bad food snacks. Instead, buy like lots of fresh foods, you know, and just healthy fats like nuts, you know, but peanut butter spreads and just portion size everything and don't overeat. Just feel it to the point where you're satisfied. Don't binge eat on your food. 
there are days though where I do like to macro count like, like especially if I'm trying to lose weight for a specific thing like you know I'm going to vacation or something I like to kind of somewhat macro count but otherwise I just eat intuitively intermittent fasting and I just eat healthy I try to eat clean I drink lots of water so it's just those little things that help me to stay lean and maintain my weight how it is right now don't mind my tether towel on my head because I, I just took a shower because I am going to church service in about 30 minutes so I will show you guys a quick but filling snack to put in before you you know go anywhere since I don't have time to eat a fully put together meal I usually like to eat rice cakes when it comes to quick meals um, I like to put these roast beef or canned chicken you can get it at Costco Signature. They are the bomb. All I do is mix it with a little bit of mayo or anything else. You can mix it with Greek yogurt. Um, with a little bit of cheese and just put this on top of the rice cakes. I already have some prepared in the fridge so I'm just going to use that. Basically it's like a chicken salad on top of a rice cake. It is a full of protein, low carb meal. Since the rice cakes are only like 35 calories per actual rice cake. I will be eating that before my church service and then I will work out after my service so I will show you guys what my pre-workout meal will be To grab with me a healthy snack just in case I get hungry I like to grab with me uh, a good protein bar or some fruits and nuts one protein bar that I really like is the one basics it's actually one of their new protein bars that came out recently very delicious kind of reminds me of a RX bar I don't know if you guys have tried those before but this is the my favorite flavor of theirs is the chocolate triple chocolate chunk highly recommend especially if you're a chocolate junkie this tastes exactly like a dark chocolate bar. Now that I am back, I will be getting ready to go to the gym. It is leg day today, my favorite day out of all the days. <laughs> I wanted to have something very small before I go work out because I'm not feeling very hungry. So I'm gonna eat the protein bar that I packed with me to go because I haven't had the chance to eat it. So I'll just be eating that. And I will be eating this protein bar and I will be getting ready for my workout. gym i had a killer leg workout Killed my glutes today did a lot of resistant band training didn't go too heavy today i will very soon film a leg day session so that you guys could see what i do for leg day and what's my regular workouts i do have a very small video clip posted on my instagram account very short 30 second leg session that i posted up so go ahead and check that out my post-workout meal will be a protein shake. I usually like to have a very small meal after my workout because before I go to bed, it depends what time of the day I work out. If I work out in the morning, I'll have a bigger meal. If I work out at night, I like to have something small. I usually have a protein shake and I like to drink it with almond milk and a plant-based protein. Um, just plant-based protein is a lot more easier on my stomach than whey. Whey is just, since it's dairy-based, and I'm slightly lactose intolerant. I re I do not react to it well. I get very bloated and, and I have stomach pain throughout the whole night. So I switched over to plant based for, for just that one reason. shake I like to wait about a good 20 to 30 minutes the last thing I like to do before I go to bed is I like to get a full cup of water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and honey just so the honey just really dilutes that strong flavor personally I like the flavor of apple cider vinegar many people might find that really weird but I actually enjoy it and I think it has a very unique good flavor to it I don't know 
I don't know what's wrong with me, but I, I just like it. I mean, everybody ha everybody likes something weird, right? So that's what I like to do right before bed because it's a lot of good health benefits. You know, it's very, it balances your body's pH levels. Apple cider vinegar is acidic, but once it digests, it's actually alkalizing. And it reduces my bloating and just has a lot of good benefits for your stomach and digestive system, which is what I need at night because sometimes my stomach can act so weird at night. So I like to drink anything that could help with my digestion bring my stomach to a calm place. If I don't drink apple cider vinegar, I will drink kombucha. We usually make homemade kombucha. A cup of buttermilk. Usually, I feel like buttermilk is the only product, dairy product that my body does not react too bad because it's it went through a fermenting process. So that'll be the last thing that I will be ingesting today. And then I'll be heading to sleep. One more thing, apple cider vinegar is very strong, so you do want to dilute it with a full cup of water. Otherwise, it will be very unpleasant to your stomach and might actually burn. If you don't like the flavor, you could add extra honey with the lemon. Thank you so much for you guys who actually watched the video and got to the end. If you guys like this kind of video, then give it a thumbs up and comment down below if I should make more of these videos. Maybe have it be a weekly thing as what I eat in a day. I don't know. Whatever you guys prefer. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. So, peace.